This proteomics workflow enables the unbiased identification and mapping of endogenous protein-protein interactions with subcellular resolution. This technique is particularly advantageous when investigating bait proteins that are dosage sensitive, low abundance, or have multiple subcellular localizations. This method could be applied to mapping endogenous protein interactions, assuming there's a suitable affinity reagent available. Uh, this is particularly important for many of the thousands of proteins that have unknown function, many of which have been linked with human disease. This method can be adapted to any cell line or tissue amenable to subcellular fractionation. Any protein with a suitable affinity reagent could be targeted. A common result for affinity purification experiments is often no result. Really good reagents, collecting QC data throughout, and limiting sample handling are all really important know that you have a sample. To begin, thaw the prepared cell pellets for 15 minutes in 1x pellet volume of cold buffer A with protease inhibitors or phosphatase inhibitors. Place the tube containing the cell pellet on a new tater at 4 degrees Celsius to aid in resuspension for 30 minutes. Then, place the tube in a centrifuge at 2000 times G and 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes to pellet decant the supernatant, and resuspend the cells with 5x the packed cell volume with buffer A. Incubate on ice for 20 minutes. Next, pellet again at 2000 times G and 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, decant the buffer, and resuspend with 2x original packed cell volume buffer A with protease inhibitors or phosphatase inhibitors. Dounce about 7 times with a loose pestle.